Hey guys, Rob here. Uh, just want to like help you guys out with this latency thing a little bit. Maybe help you understand what I'm talking about so it can help you. Uh, first of all, I'm not telling you that what you're doing is wrong. Um, we can totally get away with lots of latency if we're doing this for front of house. Uh, whatever the distance is from your singers, that's usually the latency you can get away with. Uh, if the PA is 15 feet away, you can get upwards of, you know, 16, 17 milliseconds of latency uh, before the band notices, right? We're mixing for the audience at that point. But it is important to know the latency because if we're not processing all of our input channels the same way, then they start to not reach the master bus in line, right? They start to get there at different times. And we want all of our input channels to hit the master bus aligned. So this is why it's important to understand what's going on in the chain, uh, on in the insert chain as far as latency. So let's dive into this, ready? All right, looking at Live Professor, I'm using an SQ6 console and uh, it already notoriously has a very latent USB system. So it's not the greatest for trying to process plugins in the live environment, um, but you can get away with it if you, you know, like I said, if that PA is a good distance from your, your artist. So let's look at what we got going on. We have 3.25 milliseconds on the input, 3.01 milliseconds on the output, and uh, the varying buffer sizes all have a degree of milliseconds that come with them, right? I typically can get away with between 128, or usually, depending on the console, 64 to 256, but let's use 128 for an example for today. Right, so that's 1.3, 3.25, 3.01. That brings us to 7.29 milliseconds of what my professor is telling us our latency is going to be. Uh, I'm already going to tell you right now that is not what we're going to see. So let's find out why. Um, and we're going to use SMART to find out why. And SMART is going to... Uh, we're going to use smart to send pink noise into the console. We're going to route it through an input, through a channel, and then uh, in this case, it's going to come back out of a group. And that group is sending back into smart so that we can have a reference, right? And then smart uses that measurement line. We'll call that the measurement. And it averages it back against a reference. And the reference is just a loop back within Smart itself, right? So the the sound card that is putting the f uh, the phantom power the the phantom power the pink noise into the console um, is also looping it back into itself, so that it it knows it's able to read the time that it takes to uh, to leave and come back. And we can see in here it says 0.29. Well, the 0.29, that is the measurement of just the sound card itself, right? And now we're going to do a measurement of the sound card plus the console. And we do that now by just making sure that the input channel is not inserted. It's not. So now when I hit find, this is just going to tell us how long it's taking for the signal to leave the sound card enter through the enter the console run through the input channel come back out of the group out and back out of the output back into the sound card and we end up with 0.7 milliseconds right so the console added another uh what's that 0.47 milliseconds right so this console on an end to out ratio is 0.4 milliseconds of latency. That's extremely low for, for a, gr a console. It's, it's awesome. All right, so we're going to insert that. We're going to see our phase come flat. Frequency response, response comes flat. Cool. All right, so now we have our starting point. Um, now we know that this is, it's 0.76, and we just can subtract that from whatever number we come up with, and that'll be our real-time latency number. So let's find out exactly what happens when we start to add some latency into our process. So we're gonna go and we're gonna add an insert. And the in 
insert will allow us to see directly in smart what happens. So you can see in the screen in the right corner, that's smart. We can see the top, uh, the second top window is our phase response. The bottom one is the frequency response. They're flat right now because they're aligned. Uh, when I click on this insert, they're going to come unaligned. And then we're going to do another delay find, and that's going to tell us now the amount of latency we're, s we're getting because the signal is now leaving the insert, going into Live Professor, and coming back. All right, here we go. So the insert is now turned on. We can see that our phase and frequency response has gone. We're not happy anymore. And now we're going to come over with this to smart. All right. So this number, when we, when we hit find, is going to tell us the amount of time round trip that Live Professor via USB has introduced. So in this case, 14.66 milliseconds minus this 0.76, so the delta delay is 13.9 milliseconds, 90 milliseconds. So that's how much, m that's how many, that's how much latency just adding Live Professor using the USB added, right? That's a lot. That's a, that's important to know. That's that's fourteen point six six. That's what seven sixteen feet, something like that. Uh, my, I don't. I'm not good at math. Um, so let's go ahead and now insert that. We will see our phase flattens out. Frequency response flattens out. Now let's go in and we will add some. We'll add in some plugins and see exactly how they affect things. All right, so let's see if I can get smart to what I really would talk to do this. Pause it. All right, we'll just turn these on and then we'll jump in and see what happens. So we. First thing we do, we just turn our plugin chain on. Let's see. Just by turning our plugin chain on, was there any difference in our timing? Nope. Everything stayed the same, right? So turning the plugin chain on, no change. Uh, now let's go ahead and let's add a plug in. And we will start with the F6, right? Because we know that the F6 is a zero millisecond latency plugin. Should not add any extra plugin or any extra latency to our chain. And what do we find? We find that it has added no extra latency. That's good. That's cool. Just a Fun little fact to know. Uh, we can see the relationship of how an EQ affects phase. So as we start to pull down, um, we can see this is the frequency response. This is our phase response. So as we pull down the EQ, 125 hertz, we can start to see our phase shift. This is important to understand. This is how EQs work. EQs work by making little out of phase changes. Um, but understanding that too much EQ can put things way out of phase, like that, right? That's bad. We don't want to over EQ things. Anyway, back to latency. Um, so let's go ahead and add in a plugin that actually has some latency. Uh, we'll add in this Voitech EQ. Uh, states 1.8 milliseconds of latency. So let's see what we end up with. All right, we'll go ahead and find. And what did we say? 1.8 milliseconds, and it has 1.77 milliseconds. So. 
not far more off from what they said. We'll go ahead and insert that and we get our flat phase and frequency response back. Um, so basically all I'm trying to show you is that, you know, in Live Professor, even though it says that your latency is this or your latency is that, unless you're actually measuring it, it's questionable. And while it works and everything is working for you guys um, in your processes, do these experiments. Um, because once you start to get some numbers and you start to delay all your other input channels to match your plug-in channels, well then your master bus is summed more happily and you're getting ba a better phase response going into the system. And that's important. Uh, phase is everything in what we do. You get a better phase response, happier your crowd is going to be. Excuse me, I'm tired. Um, so, yeah, I'm not trying to tell you guys you're doing anything wrong or anything. I just, uh, I don't think a lot of people dive into this latency thing as hard as they should. Uh, a better understanding of it definitely helps. So, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask and I'll, uh, I'll answer if I can. Oh, and if you absolutely hated this, feel free. Tell me to fuck off. <laughs>